welcome back dear students uh, for the part two of worksheet week five so now this example we reach it until this point i have here the line uh, goes through zero and four and negative one and two in the slope intercept form the question was okay here writing equations of line write the equation here i have to read well the question to know what i'm going to do or what i'm going to find write the equation of each line in the given form okay guys so it's given here okay he asks me now for the slope intercept form so i have to study well this form slope intercept form it's easy it's y equal mx plus b okay once i know the rule it's easy to substitute in the rule he gives me what gives me points like this so this is x1 y1 x sub 2 y sub 2 okay guys so how to find the slope here m equal yes y sub 2 minus y sub 1 x sub 2 minus x sub 1 okay change in the y over the change in the x rise over run okay is is it easy yes we are now substituting where is y2 take y2 2 minus y1 2 minus 4 2 minus 4 and then i have here x sub 2 where is x sub 2 this one which is negative okay right let's write it negative one minus negative one minus no, minus what minus zero okay guys let's clear i have it here i substituted my here uh, my uh, for x sub one y sub one and i got here the slope which is two negative divided negative positive two i have here the m slope so use what by use what guys here substitute two for m okay we did so take the first or the second we were gonna take here the first here two for x sub one y sub one okay and substitute here guys so substitute two for m two for the slope okay and i have uh, what here and i have four for y and I have what? I have uh, 0 for x. Okay, 4 for y and I have 0 for x. So, so I chose this. I chose this. Let's substitute very easily. 2 times 0 plus b. I don't know b. I don't know b. So after substituting 2 times 0, 0 and I have here 4 equals to b. Write the slope intercept form using m equal to m for the slope equal to okay and b equal 4 so y equal to x plus 4 is it easy i think it is okay guys let's complete how to graph lines another uh, another year lesson i have to know how to graph my the lines now let's see together graph each line this one this is from textbook by the way okay graph each line i he gives me this line and he asks me to do all of this let's see it's very easy don't panic three uh three over two x plus three okay okay it's okay the equation is given in what what do you think here guys which here which uh kind of forms here is it slope intercept form or the point slope it's slope intercept form yes i can hear you because we can say it's like this right mx mx plus b okay y equal mx plus b so it's given in yes slope intercept form okay okay with a slope of what the slope you have here is m equals to what m equal 3 over 2 am i right or i'm just saying like uh, i'm talking to myself yes it's here three over two this is the m right okay after that what are you uh, asking me to do and he gives me the y intercept remember this three it's called the y intercept b this three it's the y intercept b it's what it's a three the y intercept b equal three okay y intercept b equal three okay guys okay so let's see together here so guys here plot the point focus please plot the point okay the y-intercept is three focus here 
So plot the point. I'm going to here plot zero, zero here zero and three. Zero for x axis. Focus, please. 0 for x axis and 3 for y axis. Y axis or the y coordinates here, the y intercept is 3 with purple. Okay, guys, so 0 and 3. So I put here my point, the first point, 0 and 3. And then, and then I have what? I have 3 over 2. This is M. This is why I told you, you have to know what's the rise and the run. Okay, we are not in English session to see the definitions. No, the rise is the change in uh, Y values. And the two is the change in X values. This is why we have to know or understand the definitions, guys, to know what are we doing in math. Okay, so let's see. We have here M. Yeah, and this is the change in rise, and this is the change in run. In rise, I mean in y, and this is the change in x. So, here he asked me to, after plotting 0 and 3, from where did we get 3? This is b, b given here, the y-intercept. Okay, then 3 and 2. So, okay, what should I move? Where should I move? Rise 3. Rise, go up 3. Why up? Because here positive. So go up 3. 1, 2, and 3. I moved the 3 points. So I reached this point. Okay. After that, and run. Run 2. Negative or positive? Positive. So go to the right. Positive, go to the right. 1, 2. So put here the other what? The other dot. The other dot. After plotting the other dot or point, what should I do? Draw a line containing the two points. So draw this line that contains the two points. And by that, we have drawn what? We have drawn the our graph. Very easy. Okay, let's complete another one. Okay, guys. I have here for uh, B. Let's see together. Y plus 3 equal negative 2 x minus 1 what's this it's written in slope intercept form or point slope this is what point slope and i know point slope equal here y focus here minus y1 equal m and open x minus x what x sub 1 right right guys so the slope here m the slope here m is what negative 2 when i say negative 2 is it equal to negative 2 over 1 yes any number divided by 1 gives me the same number so i have here numerator and denominator okay guys why because the slope it's the what remember it's the change in the rise over run rise over run i mean y over x so i have here negative two and i have here one let's see okay through the points what 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 are my points here guys i wrote here for you the equation we wrote here and this is the the equation with numbers and this is the equation without numbers y minus y1 y minus y1 equal m open bracket x minus x sub 1 Okay, I have here, where are my numbers, guys? So I have here negative 1 and I have here 3. I have here negative 1, 4, x, x here, x sub 1. Miss Dina, focus. Negative 1 or positive 1? Okay, it's written here, the main, focus please, guys. The main rule, it's with negative. The main rule is with negative. So x minus x sub 1 so where is x sub 1 it's just this the one with circle without negative without the negative without the negative so x minus what x minus x sub 1 so i will take x sub 1 without what without the negative here okay because this is minus Okay, let's see. So, I will write for x sub 1, just number 1 without negative. It's positive 1. Okay, guys? Okay? Okay, this is important to know. And I have here y sub 1. y minus y sub 1. y sub 1 here, it's with what? It's with positive, right? So, 
And I have here what? And I have here negative. So what should I do here? I take what? I take what here, guys? I will take the negative y again. Let's do it in more clear. Make sure that you understand this. Okay, let's write it. Y minus y sub 1 equal, okay, m x minus x sub 1. Okay, guys? Okay, you have here, I have here a negative 1. I have here negative 1. Okay, and I have here positive 3. And I have here positive 3. Okay, so, and I have here, this is the, okay, the numbers given here in the second equation, okay? Okay, so, I need to know the value of y sub 1 and the value of x sub 1. Okay, guys, okay, so, guys, here, I have to uh, know, okay, here, x sub 1. So, it's removed okay again please i will write it because it's removed automatically here equal m x sub 2 minus x uh, x sub 2 minus x sub 1 okay because it's removed so here i told you okay it's written here 3 and this is negative 1 so it's negative it's written here positive 3 and this is negative 1 when i say y sub 2 minus 3 so it will give me yes this will be negative 3 and when i to, when i tell you x sub 2 minus what minus negative 1 minus negative 1 minus a negative gives me negative negative gives me positive okay guys so i have here what i have here okay so i have here negative 3 and positive 1 Okay, negative 3 for the y and positive 1 for x. After getting the two points, what should I do? After getting the two points, okay. Plot the point 1 and negative 3 and then 1 and, okay. What should I do now after getting 1 and negative 3? Plot the point 1 and negative 3. 1, okay, go here to the right one and then negative 3. So put here your point, put here your point. After putting your plotting your uh, your points one and negative three for x sub one and y sub one okay, after this what should I do here the slope negative two okay over one negative two is to rise remember here rise and here run okay guys so run rise okay negative two negative two to go down uh, okay or up okay on y axis to go down because negative so one two okay this is negative two after putting and he asks me to do what go okay to the here after putting here this point he asks me to uh run just one run just one so after getting here down run to the right just one Let's do it in more clear one. I have it here. Can you see the graph? After plotting this point, 1 and negative 3. Okay. After doing so, what should I do? He asks me to do what? To rise. Rise means rise on y-axis. Negative 2 is to go down. Negative go down 2 points. And then, uh, and then run positive 1. Run positive one means that we are going to this side positive one. So plot here the second point and draw a line containing the two. Yes, the two points. Okay, guys, is it easy? I think it is. Okay, after that, I have here what? Okay, he asks me. Yes, this is this is the. Uh, Okay, this is for the points. I explain this for you here again. Okay, you can check this, guys. Okay, after this, graph C. That's graph here, number C. X equals just 3. X equals just 3, yes. So, Y equals, okay, of course, Y equals 0. Because X alone here, I have here X equals 3. So, here X is 3 on Y axis, I put here 3. And I didn't move any any movement. So, it's 3 and 0. 
okay guys by logic here i didn't move here anyway so it's a three and zero the equation is given in the form of what guys vertical line vertical line okay because here i have as you see here this is what vertical this is what vertical line okay uh, with an x intercept of 3 x equal 3 the equation tells you that the x coordinates of every point on the line is 3 x coordinates on the line is every one is 3 okay guys here every one is 3 so draw the vertical line 3 and 0 vertical line 3 and 0 okay guys easy okay after that, uh, we you can find here some examples that we have taken before. Okay, let's solve uh, one. I have here one line passes through points four and negative three. And um, we have here other points, negative eight and zero. Another line passes through negative one and negative one and negative two, six. So what are we doing now? I want to find what the slope. I need to find the slope. Okay, guys so the slope is very easy i need this m equal y1 minus y2 x sub 1 minus x sub 2 i can start with y sub 1 or i can start with y sub 2 it's okay the same but uh, keep the order when you start with y sub 1 so start with here down x sub 1 the same result guys okay so here for it gives you two lines as you see we have here two lines line one it gives you here the points and line two so four minus negative eight over negative three minus zero or i can say the other one negative three uh okay guys this one negative three minus yes negative three minus zero and i can say here four minus negative eight so the answer here for the first uh, line i need the marker the answer for the first line is negative uh, fourth okay and when i solve it for the second line here let's see together I have here negative 1 minus 6 and I have here negative 1 minus negative 2 and when we have a negative negative gives me positive this one guys negative negative gives me positive okay so it will be negative 1 plus 2 so how can I solve this 2 minus 1 equal just 1 okay guys okay so the answer here the slope is what the slope is negative 7 over 1 and I have here negative fourth so they are neither perpendicular nor parallel they are just intersecting okay okay and you will find this example also the same idea okay solve this it's the same idea it gives you two lines and asks you to find are they perpendicular are they intersecting or per, uh, or parallel okay after doing so I found that I have here negative 4 I need the mark I have here negative 4 and I have negative 4 so they are yes parallel bravo I can hear you it's easy now yes and if I have here after after here okay I'm not solving this because we solved a lot of this so we have here 2 over 3 and this is negative 3 over 2 perpendicular yes perpendicular negative inverse perpendicular the slopes are like that and uh, what about this guys okay yes let's solve example 5 and then complete example 5 talks about what he gives you here lines he gives you line a line b line c and asks you which of the following lines are perpendicular so i have to and gives me in what in the slope intercept form y equal mx plus b right it gives you this like this okay guys so i found what for the first one m equal three for the second line let's solve it for the second line here i need the marker so here three okay three y equal negative 21 minus x i do what here i will divide all the equation by three to get rid of what of this the coefficient of y so negative so sorry so y equal negative 21 over 3 it gives you negative 7 and i have negative x negative x okay guys divided 3 it gives you what negative third x okay i keep it like this to make it clear okay it's the same as negative third x we have here hidden one 
I swear we have here hidden one. So it can be said like this, Adam. Okay. After this, after this, guys, I have here. Uh, I rewrite it as we, uh, as usual. I have as the y uh, the slope intercept form y equal negative. And yes, here a negative third x minus seven. It's like here m x plus uh, plus what plus b. B uh, sorry m here the slope is negative third so and I have here is negative what is negative third and I have here for the first one it's a three three and negative third so they are perpendicular lines because they are negative inverse negative inverse three and three and negative uh, three and negative third. I I write for you here positive three equal three over one. Okay, because they are perpendicular. Okay, guys. And after solving for this, this is negative three. Here, uh, line C, line C here. I have here three x plus y equal ten. So y I need y m x plus b y equal negative. We go to the other side by negative three x plus what plus ten. So here the m for line c will be negative three. Okay, negative three. So they are neither parallel nor perpendicular. Okay, guys. Slopes of lines. Okay. After that, we're going to have this. Okay, let it be on another uh, video for you. Thank you, my dear students.